Welcome back. This is your trainer, mentor and PMP coach Anand. This is continuation of integration management knowledge area. In this session, you will learn perform integrated change control process. The learning objective of this session are in overview we will try to understand purpose of the change control process and go through some of the key terms. We'll go through generic change request process. We'll talk about process definition, the ITTO involved in this process. We'll talk about change control board, very important. We'll also talk about configuration management system. And finally, we'll do a quick review. Let's take a quick look at seven processes in integration management knowledge area. So develop project charter, first process in initiation process group, develop project management plan, direct and manage project work, manage knowledge, monitor and control project work process. And we are going to learn perform integrated change control. And finally, after this, we will have close project or phase process. Change ahead. Have you ever worked on a project where you absolutely delivered what was agreed in your first scope baseline? Mostly, your answer will be no. Changes are raised as we learn more about our need of the product or service that we are building or delivering. Change requests can be raised for defect repairs that modifies a non-confirming product or product component. Corrective action that realigns the performance of project work with the project management plan. It can be preventive action that ensures the future performance of a project work is aligned with the project management plan. There is a fourth type which is simply update to your project management plan, especially in case your original plan or maybe schedule, your cost, your the approach itself was not right. Any stakeholder can raise a change request on the project. You might have often encountered project sponsor, business users or end users, a subject matter expert raising changes or requesting more functionalities as we progress in the project. Lot of time failed risk mitigation or big defect found in the design may lead to raising a change request. All these change requests has to process through perform integrated change control process so that there is a proper integrated analysis before change request is approved or rejected. Change request is not necessarily bad. Sometimes they give us a good opportunity to save cost or deliver faster. When change request is processed, project manager has to always look at the project objectives. Coordinate, it, coordinate changes across the project, maybe other projects where you have a dependencies. And also PM has to ensure changes are controlled. Let's see how change control process works. Note that this is very generic process. Your organization may have a specific process as per your organization's project management methodology, your change control process. Also, this process is not shown in PINBOG. This is only for illustration purpose. So any stakeholder can submit a change request. Uh, it might get submitted into change control tool, yes, yeah, some sort of a software tool, or it might get submitted as an email to project manager. Project manager will evaluate the change uh, request Especially, uh, initial evaluation will ensure correctness of change request and all required inf information is entered. In case if something is missing, it might get rejected for further work. Project manager with the help of project team will perform detailed analysis. Detailed analysis may contain integrated impact on other areas and recommendations. The change request will be presented in change control board. Change Control Board is responsible for reviewing, evaluating, approving or rejecting, rejecting a changes to the project. Sometimes 
change control board may request additional information or put change request on hold for some more time. Once the change request is approved, project manager will update the project management plan or subsidiary plans or baselines and communicate these decisions to respective stakeholder. Approved change request will be implemented through direct and managed project work process where deliverable will get updated as per new scope or scope changes. Once the change is implemented, further it will be communicated to relevant stakeholder by change control board for its completeness. So this is a generic process which will be mostly followed in most of the organization. In this process, we have a couple of new terms that you, that you may need to know. So we have change control board, change control system, change control tools, and configuration management system. Let's uh, look at each one by one. So what is change control board? CCB is a group responsible for reviewing, evaluating, approving or rejecting changes to the project. They are also responsible for recording and communicating decisions. Change requests can be approved, denied, returned requesting more information, or sometimes delayed or put on hold. Most debated question is who approves change request? Is it project manager, sponsor, who's that? The correct answer is change control board. But we all know CCB has a lot of senior stakeholder and we can't have frequent CCB meetings. Then what happens with the smaller changes like changing or adding some activities which may have very small cost or timeline impact or sometimes there is no impact or changing work approach which doesn't impact cost or schedule. To resolve this, there should be a approval decision threshold defined in respective plans related to cost, schedule. Also, you might have certain matrix defined inside change control plan, which is a part of project management plan. So who approves change, who is a change approver? So first choice is change control board. Second, it might be responsible authority like program board or project management office. It can be customer or sponsor where you are a vendor and you are expecting client, your customer to approve your change request. And finally, project manager for small changes as agreed in the matrix defined inside change control plan. Let's look at some of the key terms. What is change control system? It is set of procedure that describe how change to a project deliverable and documentations are managed and controlled. This is what we had seen in previous slide. We gone through a step-by-step -step procedure from initiation of change request, review, approval, and implementation. Now this procedure may include how to set up CCB, what are the policies around it, who has approval authorities, what level of authorities are there, and so on. What is change control tools? There are manual or automated tools to assist with change or configuration management activities. At minimum, this tool should support the activities of change control board. The example of change control tool can be sophisticated software tools like HP Project Portfolio Management System, you can also develop a simple SharePoint workflows as per your organization's change control process. These tools will help you to record change requests, send emails to change control board members, maintain change log with the current status. Many organizations use a simple Word template and Excel tracking tools as their change control tools. Remember, PMI never mandate use of technologies to do a specific activity. Now, as a part of this process, project manager will define formal change control process if it is not there. He will also ensure proper documentation and he will ensure changes are introduced in controlled and coordinated manner. 
Configuration Management System. It is a set of procedure to identify and document changes to a product characteristics. Procedure includes how to identify and document the functional and physical characteristic of a product. For example, in construction project, plot size, number of rooms, floor area, carpet area, all are configuration items stored in configuration management system. It also tell you how to control any changes to these characteristics. For example, if you want your kitchen size to be increased or decreased, what's the process to be followed? It records and report each change and its implementation status. It supports product audit to verify conformance to requirements. So overall configuration management system includes the documentation, tracking system, and defined approval level necessary for authorizing and controlling changes. The example of change control systems are visual source safe, concurrent version control system, rational clear case. So these are mostly used in software development. Configuration management system is a subsystem of overall project management information system. For example, if you put together different systems like change control system, configuration management system, and other project management tools, yeah, system, so all this put together, you can call it as a project management information system. Let's understand configuration management system through an example. So imagine an infrastructure upgrade project for a bank, which is spread across 20 locations. Project is about to about upgrading servers, personal computers, laptop, operating system and softwares like payroll system, queuing software and licenses. The challenge for project is different bank location has servers with a different configurations, software with a different versions and some customized software C application. Keeping track of this is a big challenge, especially different teams will be engaged to perform different activities. So how do we solve this? So by using configuration management system. The team will use the CMS to document existing functional and physical characteristics of a product, for example, server, PC, software versions and licenses. They will record and report each change and its implementation status. CML, CMS will track different versions of hardware software during the upgrade. This will allow different teams to work simultaneously on the multiple location. Also, it will support managers by providing data for auditing and reporting status. Configuration management is a three step process. You can always expect one question on this. So first step is configuration identification. This is where configuration items are identified, product and documents are labeled, and accountability is maintained. Next step is configuration status accounting. Now this refers to listing of approved configuration, status of proposed changes and implementation status. And finally, configuration verification and audit. So this ensures corresponding changes are registered, changes are assessed, approved, and tracked. And finally, Finally, these changes are correctly implemented. So far, we have learned about change control process and key terms. Let's take a look at definition of uh, perform integrated change control process. It is a process of reviewing all change requests, approving changes, and managing changes to deliverable project documents and project management plan, and communicating these decisions to stakeholders. It allows documented changes within project to be considered in an integrated fashion while reducing a project risk, which often arises from changes made without considering overall project objectives or plan. So let's take a look at input, tool techniques, and output. Inputs are project management plan, project document, work performance reports, change request, enterprise environmental factor, organizational process assets. One of the key input is project management plan. 
It provides subsidiary plans, baseline, and project op objectives to compare against change requests. So subsidiary plans like change management plan, it provides the direction for managing the change control process. It also documents roles and responsibilities of change control board. Configuration management plan. If a request, if a change request is accepted, then project management plan will be altered and along with the product scope. The configuration management plan establishes a system to distinguish the various version of a project or product scope so that everyone is literally on the same page working on the current configuration. I'm sure a lot of time you might have uh, worked on the approved, you might have got approved change request, whereas your team might have already developed something as per the original baseline, your original approved document. Rest of the inputs are scope baseline, schedule baseline, and cost baseline. These are used to assess the impact of changes on a scope, schedule, and cost. Project documents. So first one is basis of estimation. Now basis of estimation helps you to understand how the duration, cost, and resource estimations were derived how they will be used to calculate impact on time, budget, and resources. Of course, if you are calculating impact on time and budget, you need to apply same formulas which were used when the actual estimation was done. Requirement traceability matrix helps assess impact of change on project scope. Risk report, report may have information on source of project risk related to change request. Work performance reports are the representation of work performance information compiled in a project document intended to generate decisions, actions, or awareness. Work performance report can provide current health of project which is vital for CR evaluation and decision making. Reports can be scheduled reports, cost report, burn up, burn down chart, resource availability, uh, histograms, are earn value reports. Remember, work performance reports are output of monitor and control project work process. And current health of a project shown in WPR can impact the CR analysis as well as decision making. Change request. As shown in diagram, most of the controlling processes produces change request as output. CR is also output of direct and managed project work. So direct and managed project work is the process where you create the deliverable. So what is CR? CR, a change request, is a formal proposal to modify any document, deliverables, or baseline. It may also include corrective actions, preventive actions, defect repair, and update to project documents. Change request is input to perform integrated change control process where it will go through a proper approval process, your approval cycle. Organizational process asset. You might have change control procedures, processes of approving and issuing change authorization, configuration management processes. So all these are organizational process asset. Enterprise environmental factor, mainly the most important is project management information system in which you might refer to scheduling tool, configuration management system, information collection and distribution system. Now a lot of time confusion becomes what is the difference between configuration management process which is a part of OPA and configuration management system which is a part of enterprise environmental factor. The difference is very clear. Configuration management process, when you talk about a process, it's a methodology. So that is part of OPA. And when you talk about tools, your configuration management software, your system, so you're talking about some sort of a tool. So those are uh, configured, yeah, those are at an enterprise level, yeah, organization level. That's why they are a part of enterprise environmental factors. So tools and techniques used in perform integrated change control process are change control tools, data analysis, 
expert judgment, decision making and meetings. Change control tools. These are manual or automated tools to assist with change and configuration management. We talked about this earlier in the overview section. It also helps record and track change requests via change log. At least, tool should support activities of change control board. Some of the example, the sophisticated one, yeah, the software tool based are Microsoft SharePoint, where you can configure the change control process with the basic work workflows. Also, you might have a HP portfolio, project portfolio management software, which also help you to create the change request, process it, and keep a track of all the change log, yeah, change request. Data analysis. Alternative analysis and cost benefit analysis are technique which can help project manager to perform integrated analysis. Remember, perform integrated change control is all about doing integrated analysis, understanding the impact of one constraint over another and analyze, it, analyze them in an integrated fashion. Alternative analysis. So change requests must be analyzed with a multiple alternative. You don't want to go to management saying this is how things can be done. They are definitely going to ask you what are the alternatives. These activities are documented and discussed in CCB meeting. So outcome of alternative analysis will be generally discussed. Those multiple options will be discussed in the CCB meetings. Cost benefit analysis. Cost of requested changes will be analyzed against the benefit and presented in CCB. This may be a key factor that may lead to CR approval or rejection. Expert judgment. Anytime you have a decision making process like this one, PMI is going to minimum recommend two tools, expert judgment and meetings. So expert judgment because you want the best input into the decision and meetings because you want best forum to make the decisions. Expert will be a part of change control board who decides the outcome of change request. Expert can contribute in change request analysis, decision making as a part of CCB. Also, they may coordinate integrated analysis with other projects or organizations. Meetings. Change control related meetings are conducted by Change Control Board or CCB. The key purpose of this meeting is to analyze the impact the proposed change will have on the project constraints such as time, cost, resources or risk. CCB may also review configuration management activities. The CCB decisions are formally documented and shared with appropriate stakeholders. Decision making. Decision making techniques used are voting, autocratic decision making, multi criteria decision analysis. CR may go through voting and decision may be reached through unanimity, majority, or plurality. In some cases, sponsor or chair of CCB may override others and take a decision. This is autocratic decision making where one person decides. Another way is maybe a group is represented by one person and that person gives his consensus on behalf of his group. Multi-criteria decision analysis involves systematic analytical approach where decision matrix are used. Matrix will have predefined criteria for accepting or rejecting the change. So more sophisticated organization with proper processes and um, uh, defined criteria might use a multi-criteria decision analysis. The outputs are approved change request, change log, project management plan update, and project document update. Let's understand them in detail. Change requests are processed according to the change control system. The key output of perform integrated change control process is approved CR. Approved CR will be further implemented through direct and managed project work process. Change log. Change log document the changes that occur during a project, including rejected changes. So ensure that 
every change either approved or rejected should be a part of change log change log can provide the list of all changes with the current status so what are the change request statuses status accounting may differ as per company policy or methodology entry is made when new change is initiated further it is updated to reflect completion of analysis again updated once impact analysis is shared with change control board members further updated with ccb decision again updated when it is under development or construction again updated once quality control is completed and finally updated as a closed once a change is completely implemented remember every status change is communicated to ensure stakeholder engagement project document update all documents subject to formal change control process for example requirement document get updated due to change in the requirement quality document may get updated due to change in quality requirement and so on project management plan update any subsidiary plan and baseline that are subject to formal change control process so based upon perform integrated based upon the outcome of a perform integrated change control process so outcome is generally approved change request so as outcome of that any of the pmp component may get updated cost baseline may get updated due to approved additional budget schedule baseline might get updated due to uh, approved additional timelines great job you have completed one of the critical process that is frequently used by project manager that's a perform integrated change control and believe me on a critical large project project manager will spend lot of time performing or executing this process let's do a quick review about the topic covered in this session so what did we do we learned what is integrated change control process what is change request what is configuration management which includes configuration identification status accounting and verification and audit how the approved change request are implemented what is a change log what are the change control tools so with all this we complete perform integrated change control process so i hope you enjoyed this session keep enjoying your pmp journey you are doing great see you in next session